Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, yesterday there was a story circulating that a Swedish hardware site had got the price for RX Vega. Now, they had priced it around the GTX 1080 Ti price. Now, myself and most others, we kind of laughed it off and said, yeah, okay, this is some type of joke. There's no way that this is going to be priced at GTX 1080 Ti levels because the bleak benchmarks that we've seen so far have been around GTX 1080, and sometimes they're not even beating it, but it's roughly matching the GTX 1080. So people are saying what the hell's going on here now this morning another article surfaced and they released even more prices and it is priced closer to the gtx 1080 actually a little bit more expensive according to this leak here now this card is an rx vega 64 it's made by asus it has eight gigabytes of hbm memory too and it also is liquid cooled and they have it priced at 1155 pounds now that is priced more than a gtx 1080 ti now this is in pounds so i don't know how it would uh, convert back to us dollars maybe it'd be around the same price as a gtx 1080 ti now this is the thing here all of the leaked benchmarks that we've got so far don't show anywhere near GTX 1080 Ti performance. So how could this card be priced at GTX 1080 Ti prices? Now we know that AMD is very price conscious and they're very disruptive with everything that they've been releasing. In fact, they just released the Ryzen 3 CPU, which is gonna totally destroy the i3. So they're completely destructive with all the products that they're releasing right now. Their prices are very competitive. So it makes no sense for them to release a card that is priced at GTX 1080 Ti levels and it doesn't reach anywhere near that performance. That doesn't make sense to me. So I started thinking, now this is all speculation. We really don't know the full story with Vega and I guess we're gonna find out at SIGGRAPH, which is about uh, three days away from now. But I think it could be a few things here. Now we know that Vega, when it's properly cooled, it can actually get pretty good stable clock. So we don't know what type of tweaks are being done behind the scenes and this card is a liquid cooled card Also, they have the infinity fabric. I don't know. I'm not saying that they're gonna use the infinity fabric to um, Put another GPU onto uh, Vega here. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's just speculation, but they have the Infinity Fabric. Perhaps they're using something like this and they're getting greater than GTX 1080 Ti performance. I really don't know. I I'm kind of confused by all of this, but this pricing seems to be accurate because this guy also released um, a list of other processors. He released the AMD's um, A12 9800. He also the A12 9800E. Uh, the A10 9700. He released all the prices for these as well and what they're going to be clocked at. And also, videocards.com, they released a picture today of one of these processors saying, What is this? So I have to kind of believe his posting here. But the price, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you price this at GTX 1080 Ti levels when? The benchmark suggests that it's well under that, that it's running at GTX 1080. It's got me scratching my head, and I'm really intrigued to see what AMD shows us at SIGGRAPH. Are they going to pull something out of the hat here? Um, I really want to know what you guys think about this, so please leave your comments down below. Are you as confused as I am? Um, what are your theories on this? How could they have GTX 1080 Ti pricing when they don't have the performance? Because the benchmarks leaked so far suggest otherwise. Or is AMD trolling us all and they're really going to let the cat out the bag at SIGGRAPH? Anyways, please sound off below. I ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.